It was a dark and stormy day inside my heart. Or maybe I'm just joking. I think the weather is a metaphor for how some people feel about Valentine's Day. So I'm working on a Fathom number no. 7 Valentine's cover. It's a variant cover for the comic. I am using a Pentel 120A3 9mm pencil for this piece. You'll notice the um, 9mm is actually a bigger lead, um, thicker lead, so it also helps with um, speeding things up and not and allowing me to not focus on the details but mainly the basic shapes and the layout of the piece since I'm not going to tighten the pencils up before I um, start watercolors. I am using the Winsor & Newton Cotman number 12 brush for this and the um, Princeton Velvet Touch round number 4. Both of these are synthetic brushes. These aren't exactly the most expensive brushes or even, um, they weren't even, just generally speaking, they're pretty cheap and I realized that I could do a lot more with these and I like the synthetic brushes more than the, um, well, <laughs> and I don't want to spend a ton of money, but they do, they do the job and um, I could be a little bit more rough with them and not feel bad that I spent a lot of money on these brushes. In fact, I still have expensive brushes I haven't used yet because I'm so worried about damaging them because I ink a lot and I've I've gone through so many brushes already. So um, yeah, these are my go-to brushes. I am laying down the base color for what's going to be the roses aspen lays on and it forms into the shape of a heart. I know, this is such a groundbreaking idea. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I'm using the Strathmore Vellum Surface Bristle for this, like I do with most of my comic book um, art and some of the watercolor stuff. So this is 11 by 17. There's not too much warping that happens when I use watercolors on these um, on this paper because um, it's a nice, thick, textured paper. It's not too bad. It's not overly textured as well. So. Um, it's a good go-to for me because it's versatile enough for me to just do whatever I need to do and especially when I don't have that much time. So I feel like um, this is the best paper for what the multimedia that I do. And I didn't have too much time to come up with a concept so I tried to come up with one that was really going to be simple and easy to execute but effective. Um, so I decided to draw Aspen in the middle of roses that forms into heart and since I'm using mostly watercolors for this piece it didn't take very long to do. I would say it took about four hours. Sometimes especially when you don't have a lot of time and you have really tight deadlines it's best to come up with a concept that you're somewhat familiar with or um, just something simple that if you execute it well it would be very effective and so for this piece I didn't actually have to do a lot of rendering on her body and it was mainly just the roses her hair and her face and then I kind of um, added like a pink glaze uh, with watercolors over her body to sort of kind of tie it all together since I only had to use three to four colors for this piece um, watercolors not including the uh, Copic markers and the pocket pencil brush for the hair it um, shaved off some minutes as well um, and if I had more time I would probably just render out a few more roses and her face probably a few more strands of hair but nothing crazy for the longest time I would try to fill up all the negative space um, thinking that every corner of my pieces had to get filled which I realized that um, negative space can be used and utilized a lot better and it's even more effective sometimes at the end of the day, it's all about your concept, um, your composition, and how your piece flows together. Maybe I came up with this concept because I just wanted to paint flowers. Um, I don't often get to do it for my work, so um, I come up with any excuse I can, especially because it's Valentine's. So I use the uh, pocket pen tail brush um, to ink her hair and her eyelashes. And then I used Copics for the side of her face, her red lips, and then her blue eyes. And that was the extent of the um, Copics for this piece. So 
So this piece took about four hours to do. Um, on average, I spent about six to seven hours on a cover. But since this one has such a tight deadline and um, I just finished turning in a few pages, it was worth it to get the best idea possible for the cover. And, um, you know, this is what I came up with. And at some point you just have to say, okay, this is, this is good enough for now and then we gotta move on. So we're just about done with this piece, just um, adding a little more detail to the hair, to the roses, and making everything pop. At this stage, I feel like I can't finish it fast enough to get overly excited to run to the scanner and um, get it ready to send off an FTP to the editor and the designer at Aspen Comics. But then I have to wait for the paint to dry. In the many years that I've drawn comics, it feels like there's never enough time to finish a piece. Um, you could always do more. But at some point you have to realize that you've got to get things done and you have to come up with strategies and techniques and whatever it takes to get the job done. I mean a huge part of what makes the job interesting is the fact that you're always going to be searching for something more and to get better and to just climb that mountain, you know. And uh, I could honestly say that I would rather do that than anything else. Try to get some of that sound out of the way. Hopefully I could breathe. Um, and we're gonna try to do the audio in here. <laughs> 